Richard, thanks for uh, joining us on the show, man. It's good to talk to you again in I'm, person. Now. I'm really I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Is it good? He's eating uh, red licorice uh, twists, the, the home brand. So how do you rate our home brand licorice raspberry like twists? It. It's not as sweet as I'm used to. Um, licorice twists, strawberry flavored. A classic soft twist we all love. Not all of us, but um, <laughs> it's not the quality one. Look, that we go, like that's it. our home brand. I don't no. know what you call that over in America. I don't know what a home brand is, but... It's the cheap version. Where, you know, oh, like the, it's the little... The knockoff version. The discount version. Yeah, I don't know what you, have, what you call yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's good. I like it. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, welcome back to Australia, brother. It's good to see you again. It's, it's been a while. It's great to be here. Man. How's it been? This is my first interview in Australia in like 25 years or something. Wow, man. Last was, no. I don't Sound think one? I've ever done an interview since uh, since I was here like back in uh, 2002 or something, 2001, 2000, right around there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm back. It's good to have you back, man. It's really great to be here. Man, I've been seeing the pictures. Yeah. They've been absolutely... The shows look just yeah. insane, man. Did you did you get that feeling was going to be as epic as what it was? It started in Belgium. Yeah? This tour started in Belgium. And um, we had a blast. And, and I started noticing, like, some action. And there's, like, a mosh pit started. And then people started coming over the top, like crowd surfers. and So it's been, like, a nice, sh a nice like, blast from the past because they don't really do that in america anymore they're kind of like yeah yeah they got fat wow they're like, okay they're like big fatties <laughs> who don't mosh see australia's a bit different anything. we're big fatties who still mosh yeah you guys know how to do it still yeah i think There's, so yeah it, 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 it yeah no i love america god bless america yeah yeah, yeah. just uh Got to go know. harder with those moshes. I'm an atheist, gentlemen. so it's kind of hard. Really, <laughs> yeah, believe. Yeah. You yeah. Know. yeah. But bless America, is what you're saying. Uh, you know, I love America, yeah. Hmm. Especially, I mean, like being back here, you, you're doing the meet and greets. I saw that one guy who had you on his arm as well. Like, that's yeah. nuts, man. Yeah. It? A lot of filter tattoos on this one. Um, a, a lady had a... Uh, Trouble with Angels tattoo on it, on her, on her arm. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of filter tattoos out there. It's kind of wild. You probably see it. I mean, is that the craziest you've seen? Yeah. I, um, like I've signed people's arms and then like a day later they come back with a tattoo like to another show. And that's what this guy's doing with the picture of, yeah, yeah. of me on his arm. He's got, I, he, I, I signed underneath it and he's going to have that tattooed and then he's going to, he's coming out to, I think to Brisbane. I think he's coming out. He's here. Yeah. Yeah. That's unreal, man. Yeah. I would, I'd get you to scribble. I haven't got my filter tattoo yet. Yeah. That's on, on my list. I don't even have a filter tattoo. Really? I feel like I should have one. Do you have many tattoos? Yeah. Are you a tattoo guy? Yeah. I've got some scribble on this arm. Yeah. On this arm too. My daughter's birthday and my sobriety day. Yes. Yeah. But uh, no filter. No filter. No, not yet. Okay. I love filter, though. I love filter. I've yeah. told you many times yeah. over the years that, you know, filter is such an important thing for me. Cool. So, you know, your music has just, just had such a massive impact on me. Excellent. So, uh, you know, getting a chance to sit down with you and talk in yeah. person is big fucking deal for me right now that's cool yeah that's man awesome. Awesome. thank you man so thanks for um, thanks for being here i appreciate it i wouldn't have missed it man wouldn't have missed yeah. it in the world but enough about me of course uh the new album that came out the algorithm the algorithm yes. how is it i mean fuck it's heavy dude yeah it's like I, I think i told you last time absolute pit smashes yeah and i could imagine some of those songs live have just got that just yeah. heavy. How's, we how play the drowning. Yep. Face down for the beaten, 
and obliteration from the from the album. Do you notice much of a difference yeah. in the crowd? Like, yeah, yeah, they're all good. They and everybody knows the lyrics. <laughs> so, good, like, man. if I take my headphones out, I can hear people singing along. Like, it's amazing. Does it put you off sometimes, depending where you are with different accents? Not at all. No, <laughs> not at all. The, I mean, you know, the Germans are a little bit more phonetic. Uh, the UK, they're they're they sound you know American almost when they yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you guys are amazing out here, even with our little twang. Our little, yeah, I love the twang. Yeah. Good on ya. Yeah. Hey. We're not here to fuck spiders, mate. That's right. We say that a lot. Yeah. And we're not. And you're not. We're not here to fuck. No. You're not. I've never actually fuck. seen anyone actually try that here. I know, but it's awesome. <laughs> It'd be weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You guys get some big spiders out here. Dude, you should see the shit. Yeah, the desert yeah. stuff, the outback stuff. My gosh. We've seen it. Have you seen it in person here yet? A big spider? Yeah, like the, no. the huntsman ones? Fuck no. I don't want to see them. Don't okay. Tell, don't tell me if they're around either. Just let me ignore it. Oh, I tell you. There's okay. In here Look, man. In. They won't hurt you. They, they hunt, they're called huntsmen. I know, but they're big. Yeah. There's tarantulas in Los Angeles, so I got to worry about those. I think those are more scary than what we've got here. Yeah. Is they will... Well, the tarantulas are harmless, you know. They, you know, they're, but, you know, they're, they're big. Yes. But we don't want to, we're not here to fuck spiders. So. No, we aren't. No, no, no. And yeah. I, they don't want us to fuck yeah. them either. Yeah. So, <laughs> but of course, I mean, everything that's been going on over in America, we're watching on, on the news. How has that been for you with your creativity? You find that you're drawing a lot at the moment going into. Yeah, we're having fun. We changed the lyrics to American cliche. Instead of get on the bus, we say fuck Donald Trump. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. That was just added like live the last time we played like two days ago. We, we just started, I think it was last night. And we just started laughing really hard because <laughs> it's, the song is, it's a, it's, you know, you want a way to be the same is, 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 is kind of like falling in line and being in a cult and, Man. you know, being a, being a follower and, of a crazed lunatic and there was a time when i would do like the 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 goose steps and the see kyle and like you want a way to be the same and like you want a way and like do the whole hitler thing and uh, i stopped doing that but i feel like i should start doing it again because it's all about the the trump cult that is it's look, taking man. over America. It's not really taking over America. It's taking over a third of the, of America. It's eighty percent of America still is like fuck this guy. Yeah, you know, they voted for Biden, eighty million votes, and he he clearly won. And they keep losing elections. The Republicans can't win an election. They yeah. barely have Congress. It was supposed to be a massive, huge red wave of uh conservative voters voting in like just a, 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 a gigantic huge amount of republicans into congress and it didn't happen and now it's down to one their majority is one one person and mike johnson's impotent he can't get anything done and uh it's a it's a nothing do nothing congress and it's it's just shows how how just ineffective congress uh, uh, the republicans are it affects us down here too because yeah. I know people, man. I actually, I won't name any names, but I got attacked by someone personally yeah. for just disagreeing with them about Trump. They posted something that, or the savior of children, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And the QAnon folks man, are wild. It it scared me too because yeah. they I blocked them on one account. They yeah. found me on another account yeah. and were calling me and leaving voicemails. Yeah. Over something that was like, I disagree with what you're saying. Yeah, I've they're never, wild. Dude, I've never experienced anything. Yeah, like I've that. been threatened and there's all sorts of, uh, you know, I, I've actually kind of taken it off of Facebook and mm. taken taken my activism off because it's really about the ban, you know, the, my Facebook posts and my Instagram and everything like that. I really I just like talking about my band. But, yeah, I've lost friends over it and you know it's 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 pretty gross 
Yeah, man. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard. Yeah, so we're, but we're going to vote him out again. We're going to keep him out of the White House in, in, in November or I'll move here. Mm-hmm. Hey man, yeah, I got a good suburb where I live, bro. There's, yeah, yeah, man. You come to, in well, Brisbane? No, on the Gold Coast. It's, where's Where's the Gold Coast? So it's about an hour that way. But yeah. we got the beaches, we got the mountains. What's the What's the Is the dollar strong out here? Because I might go to Auckland. No, <laughs> he's like, no. A lot of people go. I'd rather go to Auckland because the dollar is yeah. immensely strong. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but hey, we'd love to see you more often. That's yeah, it. but. But if, if I come in with, you know, with some yeah. cash, then I could, I could live high on the hog. Man. Plus, it's English-speaking people. Mm. And That's I true. I, I wouldn't feel. I'm I'm being hypothetical at yeah. this point. I'm not really serious, but. Hey, but the door's open, bro. But yeah, yeah, it, Auckland's the the escape hatch, I think. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people go there. A lot of musos yeah. go there. Jazz yeah. Coleman lives over there, uh, from Killing Joke. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Killing Joke, uh, Surge from uh, System of Down. Lives oh, over he there. lives over there now? I think, yeah, everyone moves to, all these musos move to New Zealand. I like so, it. Yeah. But yeah. then, then their, their musicians, like She Had, who toured with you in 2000, yeah. they all moved here. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe they move out and then they just move Yeah, I, I definitely consider Auckland to be like mm. a place where I could come and hang. If, if, he, if he gets voted in and he wants a third... If he tries to convince mm. people that he's going to be a dictator and that, and all that, that, if he's if he's on his way to being a dictator, I'm out. Off to New Zealand. I'm out. To, I'm 250 years of democracy is ending, mm. and I don't want to be around to see it. So I'll move to Auckland. Man. And the Patricks will live out their years here. Hey, just across the road, not far. You know what That's I mean? It. Come in, play a couple gigs every year. It won't be so expensive, right? <laughs> Works right, for us. John, it won't be too expensive to come out here and play a couple shows every year. Man, the more you know? more often we see you, the better. We haven't yeah. seen you enough here. What's that? Yeah. 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 But uh, next year is uh, 25 years of Short Bus. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I think it's more than that. Is it? I think it's 30. No, you're right. It is 30. 95. Yeah, see, man, I can talk shit, but I can't math. So yeah. um, it is. Yeah, 95. It w- yeah, wait, you're right. So wait. No, you, you are right. No, 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 yeah, no, no, 30. no, no. It is 30 years. Yeah. I just can't math. Yeah. Um, but isn't That's that crazy, right. dude? It's wild. My first record is older than my current drummer. My sobriety is almost as old. So I got sober in 2002. Mm. My sobriety is almost as old as my drummer. That's insane, man. Yeah. But my, like... my young drummer... Tosh Peterson, Tosh the drummer. Yeah, see, but I remember, I remember getting it at the record store. I ordered it in. Yeah. And like, as I said before, that that album just completely changed everything. It's fun. We play dose now, <sighs> and I play guitar. Do you? You yeah. get back to doing the yeah nice. playing guitar on it. Because that's where you know I cut my teeth mm-hmm. playing your riffs. Cool man, like you know Jurassic told you I. Jurassic Hall's in there, right? Yeah. Jurassic Hall's in there. Yeah, it's a great set. It's all killer. Yeah, man. Like, and we're playing some new stuff, but it goes over really well. So. It's, yeah, it seems Not just like the algorithm. We play Thoughts and Prayers, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. What a killer set, dude. I mean, I mean, we've all been waiting a really long time for this to happen, yeah. but going back to that time, if you could go back to Richard in 95 yeah. when he was just that... Yeah. Angry, creative, yeah. like in that mode. Well, he's never left. He's still there. Yeah. He's still there. I mean, if you listen to the algorithm, it's still angry. It's yeah. still pissed. And I'm saying things that like, you know, my record company was like, are you sure you want to say, um, or not really my record company, but some of my friends were like, are you say, Are you sure you want to say you want to get high as a motherfucker? Like <laughs> over and over at the end of this pretty song at the end of the record. I'm like. That's what young, that's what Richard Patrick would have done, like 25 year old Richard Patrick would have done. And like, I got to stay true to that guy because he's the, he's the boss. He's still there. He's still right here. Is there anything yeah. that you'd maybe change about that path? 
Or do I you... wish he would have gotten sober earlier. Yeah. Yeah, because it would have helped me a lot further now. Because it was, everything I did was tainted. Like, I think I played here maybe 30 years ago. And I could just mm. remember being, like, so hungover and, like, trying to get my voice up and, you know, trying to, like, mus muscle through the set and, you know, and, you know, not, you know, now at, at 55, I, I'm singing better than I ever have in my life. And, you know, that young person was so addicted to alcohol mm. and drugs that, he just had a hard time, you know, and I wish it could have been easier on him. So, but I pay tribute to that, you know, time period in my life with songs like Drug Boy or The Drowning or, um, you know, uh, and I sing all the songs from, from that era. I sing, we're singing four songs off the title of record. Yeah, nice. And, um, yeah, we're just having a blast. We're playing everything that you kind of want to hear. You know, I, I don't do Where Do We Go From Here off of Amalgam, but I do You Walk Away. Yeah. You know, we yep. open the show with You Walk Away, and it's fucking awesome. Man, yeah. Such a good track. That album yeah. for me as well, like, I remember where I was. I was going through some heavy, heavy shit when mm -hmm. that album came out, man. Yeah. And that, that's, that, I grasped onto that album very, yeah. very heavily. It got me through it. Yeah, I wasn't too keen on the lyrics for that record, but like I have grown to kind of try and understand them now. Mm. But like I love the songs that we're playing. We're playing So I Quit. Yeah, nice. And that's like off the clip track and just kind of free balling it, you know? So heavy. Yeah. I love it. I love it. But uh, of course, I mean, you know, soundtracks as well. Do you miss the soundtrack days where a lot of you know the yeah yeah was coming. we don't you know it's wild we don't necessarily get to ask to do them that much anymore because they're using edm and hip-hop mm. and everybody else and actually soundtracks just like everything else are dead they don't make any money so uh they don't really make them anymore they'll put a song you know in a movie yeah but they don't make soundtracks anymore it's a bummer, isn't it? Sucks, man. Because I ever since the MP3 was created, and people could rip their CDs and put them into their computers, the the music industry has been fucked. Man, it's crazy. It's just like what Trent Reznor said about like you know, there's a tier of musicians who will never, ever be found, and if they are, they're 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 not really making it. You know, they're no. still like, I mean, it's it's. It's we've got some friends, Belmundo. That uh, it's an amazing young band that sounds great, great songwriting, and I just and I just wish that they could have had the same kind of treatment that they could have had back in the '90s, mm. because they would have had tour support. They wouldn't be cramped in a little fucking van, you know, following us, and they would have had you know so much more support and. Uh, you know, it's you got to really put some money into stuff to like to make it big. You know what I mean? You have oh, to. I know, man. I'm going through it now. <laughs> like yeah. we're scraping up every cent we have for this EP that we yeah. have, and it's just it's hard to like just for an EP. Yeah, and you can't pay anybody. Nah. You know, like our last record costs like twenty grand at the most at the top. Yeah, and the amalgam cost six hundred thousand. Because people needed to be fed during yeah, the process man. of being made it. So I paid them 80 grand a year retainer. And that's still like, you know, that was definitely above poverty. But, you know, they had health care. I, I provided health care for everybody. And, yeah. and those days are gone now. Hey, Rich, thanks so much again for hanging out. Yeah. It's been cool talking to you and seeing you again. Well, I love being here. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I can't wait to play the concert in Brisbane.